I wanted to make a video to give you guys a better idea about what can actually happen to a bathroom ceiling when there is too much moisture and not enough ventilation. What you're looking at here is a small spot on, on the ceiling of the bathroom. And of course it's from an accumulation of moisture because there isn't enough ventilation. Now here's the ceiling after about five minutes of being in the shower now remember the door was closed there are no windows and the ventilation fan in this bathroom wasn't working and realistically it wasn't working you know on a scale of one to one to a hundred i would say this thing was probably working at about twenty percent capacity it wasn't even close otherwise we wouldn't have this problem Here's an arrow pointing to the moisture in, on the ceiling. And you can see there are parts of the ceiling that aren't wet. Now here's another arrow pointing to the parts of the ceiling that are still dry. Now another problem with this bathroom, and I don't like to see this, is they used flat paint or a satin-based finish in a bathroom. And this basically lets the water absorb into the drywall a little faster than semi-gloss or a high gloss. Now here's another picture. I took a couple of different pictures of the ceiling to give you guys a better idea about how much moisture actually accumulates on top of the unventilated bathroom ceiling. So again another picture from a different angle still more moisture there now another thing I did was I stuck uh, I went ahead and I ran my finger across the top of the ceiling and I went from left to right here I'm gonna have another picture with the arrow on the other side but hopefully you can see my finger the finger line there or the line I drew with my finger in the ceiling and when I when I ran my finger across the top of the ceiling you know it wasn't soaking wet it wasn't like I had uh, 15 drops of water on my hand or even if it was damp there was a little bit of moisture there but I just wanted to give you another perspective here of how much water is actually on the ceiling so let's wrap things up here if you have a spot like this on your ceiling there's a good chance that you do not have enough ventilation in the bathroom so and again we always you know, I see, I, see, I see stuff like this all the time, even in bathrooms with windows, because people aren't going to open their windows because it's too dang cold outside. And I don't blame them. I wouldn't open my window for ventilation if it's, you know, 15 degrees outside. Just not something that's, that's not going to happen. So, however, there are a few things you can do if you can shower with a door open to the bathroom um, for whatever reason. There isn't anyone around or you know you feel comfortable whatever it is leave the door open even if you leave it cracked open a little bit to let some some fresh air in there it's going to um, lessen the amount of moisture that can accumulate in the bathroom now if you do have a fan and you're getting this moisture in there then you might want to replace the fan um, or check to make sure it's actually working properly. Sometimes you're going to have obstructions. This fan here actually needs to be cleaned. There's dust all around the perimeter of the cover there. I mean, come on. This this is going to be obstructing the airflow. So again, this this could be just as simple as cleaning out the ventilation system and you're done. You've you've eliminated the problem. Again, I already mentioned this, but if you have a flat or a satin based finish on your bathroom walls or ceilings, it wouldn't be a bad idea to paint these walls and uh, your ceiling again with a semi-gloss. I've never painted a bathroom with a flat or satin based paint because of problems like these if you have a semi-gloss or a, or a high gloss finish and again a semi-gloss is fine then the moisture isn't going to be absorbing as fast into the drywall as you would with a flat or a satin finish so again this problem here we're looking at you can leave the door open if you got a window open it open it up while you're showering um, you got a fan turn the fan on 
if the fan isn't working see if there's anything blocking the fan dust dirt and accumulation of lint you name it or even snow if you have a nice thick layer of snow on top of your roof and this layer of snow is blocking your ventilation duct then of course you aren't going to be getting a lot of air out of the bathroom so again anything you can do to reduce or eliminate moisture in your bathroom should be done and again you guys let me know if these videos help if you like them i'm going to keep making them anyway whether you don't or not but i'd love to see a thumbs up every once in a while or some nice comments